Hello, this is Merlin and welcome to my channel. Hit the like, subscribe button if you're looking for more content on Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. Yo, the problems with Lost Vein Meliodas, man. He just ships the me he just shifts the meta to something disgusting. Like for real, man. Meta used to be in such a peaceful place. Now people are just going with Ult Rush most of the time. Or they just dealing with um freaking trying to use pen teams or anything else because because with the meta the meta look like it's shifting into more hp defense ult rush team even though hp defense ult rush team was already good but well it was more annoying to deal with but with the new special rule lost vein meliotis it seemed like he's he becoming like blue the melee to an extent unless you want to get countered by like something like a blue king Cause I'm pretty sure Blue King counters them pretty well. Old Rush teams. Um, that's why most people start using Old Rush teams more more frequent now, just to deal with Las Vegas Meliodas, because his ability passive to be able to get gold cards or silver cards pretty easily. And if he does do, do that, he's gonna get his ult pretty quickly as well, since he does have a skill card to do that. Once he, yeah, he's just so annoying to deal with. Like for for a pen team to deal with that, you'll have to play you'll have to play very passive versus him, or you need something that can build up ult quickly, like maybe East on your team, or like Green Escanor. And if you don't have those two on your team, <laughs> or are lucky enough to not get ult, then you're gonna have a hard time trying to face the pen team because you're gonna have to rely more on card RNG. Well, mo mostly everyone has to rely on card RNG, but since Lost Vein Meliodas uses two attack cards. It, he has a better chance of attacking you more than you do since you have um less since you got less since you got a debuff from Blue Demeli if you're using Pen and you also have Lilia who's gonna ha give you heals. While most um Blue Demeli teams has some um, Blue King uh Blue Lilia even someone has a Red Gouther um. It just or some even has Val, but the problem with using Val is, uh, Val. You want to go with like more offensive team because Val, because Val only good good for um stopping Penta. And with the special rule, you don't really need Val. You can just use um, a offensive Red Gouther, Blue Lilia, Lost Vein team, just so you can just be annoying with the rank ups, and you just heal, take Gage, and have Merlin in the back. You don't really need Val at this moment in PvP with the special rules giving you HP and no special attribute bonus, which means red units ain't gonna do as much damage as it being a stronger element than before. It'll just be like neutral damage, which it doesn't really matter when you get hit with a freaking gold card AoE from Las Vegas Meliodas and you get hit with a single single attack from him. That's the gold card. And he can build up ult real quick, so be wary, wary about that. And then I, I just don't know what they're gonna do to freaking um come combat using um Lost Vein Melios. Cause I remember when Blue Demeli came out, Blue Demeli was so disgusting, bro. Like I, like I don't know how they're gonna freaking balance out um Lost Vein Meliodas, cause he just makes you play so passive, man. Blue the Melly, man, you just had no shot of winning. <laughs> oh my god, that used to be, be the best time in PvP in my opinion. Especially for content, man. You had like one turn, Blue the Melly just murder you. <laughs> Yo, I love that, man. I love that. You couldn't even use no teams versus them. But after a while, they just started, um... They started putting counters after like the two weeks of Pierce or Pen, Pen Team. Just destroying everything. Like they added on um, Val. Val Val was like okay at first until people started figuring out how to defeat Val. Um, and it, it wasn't really that hard, you know. You just gonna have like Green Escort. Hope hopefully you have like a ult, or you just use like a Red Unit as the third option, like a a Gout a Gouther. It wasn't really that hard, and especially since when um Corn Shot Escort came out, you can definitely counter um. Val, Val team like that, and oh yeah, Corn Shot Bond was also a good counter versus that team since he just snatches their defenses. Yeah, it was a real good counter for that team. 
Yeah, Cornshot Bond. Yo, Cornshot Bond gonna have to make a comeback someday. But my don't mind me. Um, Luna Melly was so disgusting. PB, you had the Val, and then Val didn't even really help much. It is because most Blue Demelli teams start using Val, or you can call it like hybrid team where Val Blue Demelli. Uh, it was Val Blue Demelli Blue Lilia, and I, people was using Blue King, Blue King as a sub before Red King come out came out. Since CP, you just wanted to have like the CP, and then once Red King came out, it really made more teams more viable to use. That you can have like Red King in the back to save you from Blue Demelli just murdering you, or Val lowering your um, lowering your pace, your penetration. Yeah, he, he really saved he really saved a lot of teams out there, especially old teams. At least old teams can survive now. If they use like um, a lot of HP or have like a red dairy, red dairy also helps. Um, some people still use red king for um, blue demelli teams. I still use blue demelli, red king for blue demelli teams. It's, it's still good. It's still a good team. Pure straight. Pure straight is still like a top tier team, pen team, whatever you want to call it. And I'm by the look of, looks of it, uh, Las Vegas Meliodas team. Looks like it's gonna be a top, top tier as well. It's just so disgusting how passive you gotta play versus, versus it. Or I feel like that the old teams, yeah, the old teams gonna probably be like top tier, or be in the top tier. One of the old teams, because Las Vegas Melio just do so much damage. His old just freaking. His old is basically six out of six, with with how many cards you can have in your hand. His old can just be like a six out of six old. And, it's high, and he has high base CP. Oh my god. Why would you make this? Oh my god. People just use blue. And then people be doing the most trash stuff ever, man. I'll be so salty. They be having freaking Blue Lilia, Blue King, Lost Vein Meliodas, and freaking Merle in the back. You don't know how annoying that is to deal with, bro. You don't know who has the cleanse. You don't know. Well, you do know if you look at the top, but you know, once you have the first turn, you don't know who gonna have the cleanse. You don't know if it's Blue Lily got a cleanse, so you scared to attack. Scared to attack or petrify or two two of the other units. Oh my god, that's stuff that's stuff so annoying to deal with. I think that's the most toxic team. I mean, you also have Red Gouther, Blue Lilia, um, and Lost Vein Meliodas team with Merlin. You're gonna probably see more Lost Vein Meliodas team have Merlin in the back because you don't really need Val or Red King to stop to be um to deal with a blue blue Demelli team since the 25 25 HP buff makes them live like a little bit HP left and you can heal that all back with you with the high life still using all those gold cards to freaking have our team on the brink of death basically. Oh man, that's gonna be so annoying. Oh my god. I hate that so much. When they have like 5% HP left. Oh my god. And then like like I just feel like with Lost Vein Meliodas, you're gonna probably see a see a lot of old teams. It's not nothing wrong with having old teams. Um old rush teams. Old rush teams been long long here for a long time. It's just that he just makes he just makes you play so passive. That's what makes it so annoying. You gotta play passive, try to build your old pray, pray to the Lord that you don't crit him. Cause if you crit him with an AOE, he's gonna get that rank up, and then you gotta deal with a silver, a silver card, and hope hope that he doesn't have a red gout the next time. So that silver card becomes a gold card. Ugh. It's just it's just annoying. It's just annoying to deal with. He's not really a problem with me, especially when I'm using my pen team. I pretty much destroy him any anytime. Well, most of the time. <laughs> There'd be some times where he just gets so lucky and have like 5% HP left. I'd just be like, ugh. But yeah, it's obvious it's obvious Meliodas is S tier or whatever you want to call it, SS tier in PvP. He's pretty good. 
has an amazing kit. Um, he has he has the right units that can be around him, like the blue Lilia, the blue, the blue kings. They just so disgusting, anyways, because they top tier units as well. So I don't really see like what can they do, Netmar can do to um counter, to counter him. Probably um do something about um his attack, his passives. I guess probably a unit that can just nullify passives. I doubt that's gonna be the solution to it. Or they might just let him just run free for a whole whole entire month. Boss Bay Melio is just wiping teams out. Cause I don't see no really counter to him unless it's like an old rush team. That's the only counter old rush. Cause they can they can use like CP food, they can use old food. He has high CP anyway, so it's gonna be a hard time dealing with him. I'm pretty sure most people who got him just have a blast in PvP. I don't have him sadly. Um, hopefully I can get him this week. But thank you guys for watching, man. Listening to my rant, you know, a little something something for the week. Wash those hands, those dirty hands. This is Marilli, and I'm out. Peace.